my heart's beating so fast I can't speak. I just want to see you. Uh, that's one thing. And uh, today, feeling pretty good to you. Oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> I'll take like ten seconds. Hold on. It's amazing. It's uh, it's great. Like I have. Uh, I found Abraham just about a year ago. Actually, tomorrow it's going to be a year. So uh, it's it's uh, things been great. Things are perfect. Do you know what you like most of all? Of all the things, you like clarity, because you are someone who considers deliberately, looks for solutions, and knows them when you find them. That's why you're feeling satisfaction here today so what leading edge what new thing burst into your mind as you were sitting here this morning thanks for asking <laughs> you know I, I i honestly i don't have a problem we know so. we don't either that makes us good together <laughs> like i said i i found you a year ago but so things are perfect right now so i i i came to this place over a thought which crossed my mind about five years ago I just wanted to tell you that yeah. maybe you can just say okay you okay. can just leave after yeah. I thought that th this is how everything started so I thought that um, everything is connected yes I, I started seeing that like a it happened like an epiphany like a, I don't know if I'm using the correct English word like a realization I thought epiphany but that's what we're talking about when you get in that receiving mode and things occur to you that's what that is that's what that is I just wanted to ask from Abraham like if why do I think this thought is so why did I think and even to this day I think this thing like oh, let me say okay I thought everything's connected to me like everything in the universe is connected because it is yeah so so I, I, it's very clear it's it's I see the reactions so anyway so like the next thing I want to do so let's talk about everything in the universe and then let's talk about law of attraction and the response that law of attraction has to everything in the universe then we can talk about the connection of everything in the universe yes what we're most interested in is so as you were sitting there of course you have these moments in time and these connected moments when your inner being is actually standing right with you flowing thoughts right with you and what we're interested in hearing from you if you know it is what new thought burst into your mind since you've been in this room here today because every day more of that connection happens what you want to call the starting point of that explosion in your mind five years ago is continuing in every moment every moment every moment every moment every moment every second yeah, yeah yeah and the satisfaction of it is getting a piece of it a comprehensible piece of it to chew on just a little bit and that's where that feeling of clarity comes that satisfying feeling of your hands in the clay of the creation of your own experience yes and so now the the next thing I want to do like the the the, um, the endeavor or whatever the work I want to do next because I I think I have the right amount of money I feel I mean whatever I have I'm really happy with whatever I have it's just the thing I want to do next what well, it's um, uh, well do you believe that through the life that you've lived this time and others the whole of you that came forth into this physical body do you believe that as you put pieces of perception and pieces of desire into your vortex and they have begun to cooperate with each other do you believe that they have become something that you might not even be able to describe these aren't perfect words but the sum total of what you've put there is actually more significant and more intricate and more magnificent than you could describe because law of attraction has gathered cooperative components to it and it has become more than even the individual pieces that you put there does that make sense to you for years Esther wondered this question she said Abraham you said that we create our own reality and then you also say that life will continue to surprise and delight me 
and if I create my own reality why am I ever surprised didn't I put it there and shouldn't I recognize it when it comes out to play with me and we say but since you are all connected to everything and you are putting the components and then law of attraction is gathering them now it has become this more surprisable and more delightful creation than in any point in time you could describe but when you get into that receiving mode so that you can comprehend it this is making sense to you then the surprise and the delight and the clarity and the fun of then taking it further and further and further so I'm not crazy so just, just no quick. you are crazy I thought I was crazy until before I uh, found but you. that's how humans that don't know about alignment and continuity and law of attraction and guidance system that's how they describe people that aren't just focused upon what is only the world that is sane wants to face reality and we don't want you to face reality because when you face reality you just regurgitate what is we want you to create new realities we want you to own the reality that you've created and let it come out where you can explore and enjoy the unfolding of it and others can witness it too they won't understand it though but you will just a quick question I'll yeah. go. Uh, so uh, so is it correct if I think the smallest thing possible are my thoughts like the uh, so if I tell someone that my youth or my or whatever but th thoughts are the smallest maybe the building block or the smallest particle possible in this universe is it correct if I if I think well you can call it the building blocks but here's the thing this is why your thought that explosive thought about everything being connected there's no singular thought law of attraction takes those small thoughts and builds current and momentum and streams out of them so there's no individual singular thought law of attraction makes them instantaneously bigger and thoughts are not small in the sense that they are insignificant they are everything let's talk about vibration and let's talk about law of attractions response to vibration and then let's acknowledge that what a thought is is a comprehension of a vibration a recognition of it so for example this is something you ask yourselves all the time it's really amusing to watch you <laughs> if a tree falls in the forest <laughs> and there's no one there to hear it did it make a sound and the answer is no it made a vibration but it wasn't a sound until a mechanism comprehended the vibration and recognized it as sound so that's similar to what we were just saying to you so there are vibrations that you want to call thoughts and that's okay and then there are comprehenders there are receivers there are recognizers of vibrations there are interpreters of vibration oh <laughs> interpreters of vibration so when you decide that you're going to couple up join your inner being that you're going to become one with your inner being who has all of this wisdom and all of this momentum and all of this knowing and you stop those silly thoughts of disregard for yourself or disregard for others or anything that's pushing against usually through lobotomy or meditation and you allow your vibration to rise and now you're in full concert with your inner being now your clarity slash comprehension of vibration is just off the charts and then the universe makes sense then your next door neighbors begin to make sense then <laughs> everything in the universe begins to make sense because the laws are consistent you see and then you can get on with what you came for you don't need to really understand all of this in fact we've gone too far in description it went right into the boring realm for many of you any more than you need to understand the inner workings of your automobile or vehicle before you can utilize it you don't need to get under the hood and work with the pulleys and the belts and the pistons and the computer thingies all you need to do is get in the car and know what makes it go forward and what makes it stop and how to turn it in other words it's just a minimal amount that you know in order to really have satisfaction from the vehicle well so you don't really have to understand all of these inner workings but it's not hard to understand them because they are always consistent and because everything responds to law of attraction in the normal way just like when anybody jumps off of a building they fall down no one falls up there's consistency in this yeah and so yeah so I, I just wanted to 
get it clarified because um, now you just answered my question, honestly, because I thought to take my next step, I thought maybe I had to, like, maybe I had to understand But here's the most important thing. To take your next step, all you have to have is an in the vortex impulse to step somewhere because you don't need to know the whole picture. And that's why we keep asking you the question, what was occurring to you just now? You're still adding to the definition of where you want to be. Life today is still adding components to it because when you're moving at this fast pace of receptivity, all kinds of new horizons are open to you. So this is how the creative process works. So here you are, you're standing here and you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And so you throw it over into the vortex and at first you're not a vibrational match to it, but then you try to get the feeling of it and you forget about where it came from more and you focus on that and you move in the direction of it and then you stand there and then it manifests. And so now you're standing in a place where you have your new manifestation. You also have your new manifestation, but you also have a whole new set of contrasting experiences. And so now you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. So you throw it over into the vortex and it takes a little while, but you line up with it or you meditate and you line up with it really quickly. And and then you move into that new place and now your point of attraction shifts. So now you have this new manifestation, which is lovely to have, but you also have a whole new set of contrasting experiences, which causes you to launch another rocket of desire and another rocket of desire. So there's no ending to the evolution of your desire, just like there is no ending to the comprehension and realization of it. And that's the joy of life. You're not ever going to get it done and you can't ever get it wrong. So you don't want to fast forward to know all the steps. You just want to know the step that you feel inspired to now. And you just want the step that you're inspired to now, the impulse to come from this connected mode, which leads us to something that we really want to say. And you're really in a receptive place to hear it. It's really a good idea throughout the day as thoughts come into your mind or as experiences come, but mostly as thoughts come into your mind that you ask yourself, what receptive mode am I in? As long as you're awake and conscious, your mind is receiving. But are you receiving your signals from CNN? Are you receiving your signals from your inner being? Are you receiving them from your dwelling on some past event? What receptive mode are you in? And the more you care about satisfaction and the more you reach for satisfying thoughts and the more you make lists of positive aspects and the more you rampage your appreciation and the more you savor and milk from pleasurable moments, your awareness that you're having pleasure and the more that you meditate and acknowledge what it feels like to be tuned in, tapped in, turned on, the more consciously aware you are of what satisfaction really feels like, the more you will know when you're not really in a satisfying mode, the more you will know when you're receiving from something that is less beneficial and then oh, on you go to this joyful life experience where a thought occurs and you follow it and it's sweet and timing is good and others join you and it's delicious and every night when you go to bed you think oh this was such a glorious day I'll have more of these please and then you tomorrow you have more of that and then the next day you have more of that until time doesn't matter so much because your point of attraction is so in your hands and everything just kind of flows with everything and everything's all hooked together and you understand your place in all of it and you feel love and appreciation for your part in it and love and appreciation for the parts that others play and then the questions are as meaningful to you as the answers and the problems are as meaningful to you as the solutions because you know without some problems there there couldn't be more desire and without desire there wouldn't be more energy flowing and more energy flowing it feels so good and it's what life is and so then you stop worrying about pushing against anybody because it's all part of the process and you appreciate every part that everybody plays and now you've got step one down can't stop it and step two is taken care of and step three you're really good at it you're so good at it you call it step four you're the master of step three which is what step four is and then the best of all happens step five you're having another contrasting moment and loving every bit of it because you understand the value of the variety. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Enough? Yeah. Really good. Really good. Really good.